Okay, here's a breaking news alert, guys. Minnesota's original craft soda shop is getting a new name. You ready for this rebranding? Let's hear it. On Thursday, Blue Sun Soda Shop, many of you know it and love it, are gonna, it's going to reopen as Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop. Oh, no, that sounds fun. Uh, Lauren Andrego is there this morning in Spring Lake Park for a sneak peek. Hi, Lauren. Good morning. Uh, I'm feeling like a kid in a candy shop today, guys. If you've been to Blue Sun Show Soda Shop before, step in here and it is transformed with so many different products. The first one I had my eye on, Grandpa Joe's world famous $5 candy buffet. So guys, I think we're gonna fill up a candy box. Here's how it works. You get to serve yourself when you walk in. You get one of these little boxes and just like a buffet, you can fill it up with whatever candy you want. They've got a little bit of everything. Chocolate candies, fruity gummy candies. That's what I'm gonna go for. These are gummy bod blue cola bottles. Um, and you can fill with as many different kinds of candy as you want. The cool part is, as long as you can shut the lid, it costs $5. So I want to introduce you to the owner. His name is Chris Beers. He's stepping here. Uh, he's right next to me. Chris, as I continue to fill up this box, oh my gosh, those sour gummy ones look amazing. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Um, tell me a little bit about this. You invented the candy buffet. Why is this better than other sort of serve yourself candy models that I've seen before? So our world famous $5 candy buffet. Most customers, believe it or not, can fit a pound to a pound and a half of candy in this box. Whoa. If you stack it strategically, but remember, the one rule is it has to close. Yeah. So why did we invent this? Because those other candy stores like to sell you this type of candy by the pound. So $14.99 for a half pound or a pound of candy, that's outrageous. You can get a pound of candy in this box for five bucks from Grandpa Joe's. Your parents at that candy store, that other yeah. candy store, they would be like, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Right. But in this, your parents are encouraging you to put Fill more candy in there. Get as into much the into this box as you can. So Get reverse psychology. Totally. So you own a couple other Grandpa Joe's candy shops. This is your first time coming into Minnesota, which is so exciting. Um, tell me about this store and, and how you've kind of changed it, but you've kept it alive. There's still plenty of soda around here, but a lot more products. We still will reserve the title of world's largest soda shop. That's 100% we're committed to being the world's largest soda shop. But we took we took Blue Sun Soda Shop. We bought the brand. We were still going to bottle our own soda. We're still going to do all of that. But we just put steroids in this place. And when you walk in the doors for the first time, like you're not going to believe what we did and how much stuff we put in here. International candy, toys, games, bulk candy. Like it's ridiculous how much inventory we put in here. Wait till you see it. Yeah, I, I can't wait for people to check it out. And if they want to, you're opening on Thursday. What do people need to know? They need to be here at 4.05 p.m. Okay. And we're not going to be ready at 4, so don't show up at 4 o'clock, okay? You might get in line at 4 o'clock, but we're opening the doors at 4.05. Okay. There's still a lot of work here to do. Yeah. We're open until 10, and then we're open every day from there on out. Oh my gosh, Chris, I'm not done yet. Thank you so much for having us, and we'll talk to you in a bit. You guys, they are bottling soda here. There is a soda fountain uh, with ice cream and candy and screens <laughs> everywhere, and the arcade games that you loved when you came here as well. So we're going to show you a little bit more coming up, including the nostalgic candy and the big section they've got in the store here, too. Lauren, Ken is listening very intensely. Can't leave now. What, where is the, Tell Ken to come here where is the precise weather. location of this again? Send him a pin drop. Yeah, yeah. where is it? St. Louis him. Park. You got it right on the main, or St. Louis Park, Spring Lake Park. Spring Lake right Park. On the main oh, it's Spring Lake Park. Off That's off not too 35. far. Yeah, That's he lives in Hugo. I so he can 15 Gosh. minutes away from the station. He's already mapping it and adding a stop <laughs> on his way home. On his Thanks, Lauren. I'll meet him here. I've got his box ready. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren.